Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the LifeWave product webinar. We are so thrilled to have you on here today. Uh, so many amazing things. We're uh, joined by David Schmidt, CEO and founder. David, um, we're so grateful to have you here on the call. Um, can can you hear us or is uh, is everything good on your end? Hey, Jeff. Everything's Hi. great with me. Oh, good. It's, it's great to see you. Can you believe we're in November already? Uh, well, you know, I'm in Florida, so it never feels like November here. I'm a New Jersey boy, so uh, <laughs> I'm used to the cold weather and, and the snow in November. Well, I won't show you out our window because right now in Utah, it is currently snowing outside. So it it certainly is feeling like November here. Um, but that said, some amazing big things coming this month. This particular webinar, we're going to focus on Alavita, but just before we get started, some really huge things. We've got some uh, big Black Friday promotions coming, but also the long anticipated and awaited announced at convention launch of our Shine and Dream Aromatherapy Mist in the US and Europe. So uh, are you, I'm, I'm excited. Are you excited for that? I'm super excited about that. You know, these sprays, uh, the technology has been in development for the past few years. Uh, this was, it's one of those projects, you know, in development, you never know uh, what's going to make it to market. And I was really excited about uh, how the development process occurred, and especially the, the first results from our blood studies showing uh, and validating that uh, this method of action uh, really could have a very profound effect. So what I'm excited about is that we have an entirely new way to complement the activity of our patches, uh, principally X39. Um, I know this is about Olavida, but I, I want to clarify that for a second. You know, one of the things, of course, uh, that we do as a company is we promote a healthy lifestyle. We want people to be having a healthy diet, uh, to be very aware of how they're planning out their day and the nutrition that they're getting. We want people to exercise for health and longevity, drink plenty of water, stay away from the bad stuff. And, um, you know, then they can get the best results with the patch products. Well, one of the interesting things about stem cell activity is that it functions best when you have optimum levels of antioxidants and optimum hormone activity. So for example, in men and women, when your testosterone levels are healthy and optimized, uh, the stem cells function better. It's probably not a surprise when you uh, consider the role of testosterone in anabolic metabolism and uh, repairing and making new tissue. So it definitely makes sense. And, uh, you know, up until now, people had very few options when it came to uh, balancing and managing their hormones. And now they have a, a completely natural way of supporting hormone levels in the body and uh, getting some phenomenal benefits from it. So. I'm really excited uh, that we're launching uh, this new technology and, uh, you know, we'll see what comes from it in, in the years ahead. There's certainly a lot of uh, exciting possibilities. Well, I love it. And just as a little teaser, we are going to have a special webinar around launch where we'll focus and talk on these products more in depth with you, David. So we look forward to that. But for today, yeah, <laughs> as you stated for today, because uh, we could definitely uh, talk about uh, just amazing, amazing products coming. I'm so thrilled. But for today, we wanted to focus on Alavita. And um, I know that you have some things that you wanted to share, just uh, jumping right into it. You you know, you wanted to kind of walk us through the product itself. And and so I'm going to turn the time over to you to do that. And then uh, and then we'll just kind of continue the conversation. Sure. Well, you know, uh, Jeff, maybe before we get to the PowerPoint, uh, we could talk just for a minute or two about the history of yeah. Olavita. So our members have some context for that. So. When uh, I started the company in 2002, it was all based around energy enhancer. And it took two years to figure out how to manufacture the patches, um, how to do our clinical studies, what marketing method were we going to, were we going to use. And then we finally went to market in uh, late 2004. So actually, um, our anniversary is uh, coming up very soon, November 10th. 
uh, as the official date that uh, LifeWave started as a network company. Um, and then, you know, as we proceeded with uh, lifestyle products and then into anti-aging, the development of Olivita was very, very interesting in that we had the patch, but we didn't know how to really market it. So the Olivita patch is designed to elevate epithalamine. And it's worth spending a minute talking about this. Mm -hmm. So epithalamine is a peptide that's naturally found in the pineal gland of the brain. And uh, in biology and medical school, what's taught is that the hypothalamus is the center of the brain. And that's not completely true. In other words, there you could make a case that it actually all starts in the pineal gland. And what's interesting about that is that the pineal gland is connected to the visual cortex. So in other words, we have light coming into our eyes. Uh, light goes into the visual cortex and then uh, those photons of light go into the pineal gland. And the pineal gland in turn um, initiates signaling molecules. These are hormones and neurohormone precursors, which signal the hypothalamus into controlling the rest of the body. So what's important about that is that we start to see a very intimate relationship between how our body functions, uh, how it's controlled ultimately by light and electrical signaling, and the significance of the pineal gland. So when we're looking at, you know, why should anyone care about this, right? Other than, than it's really interesting stuff. Uh, well, to the Egyptians, the pineal gland was the seat of the soul. And how would they know this, you know, thousands of years ago? That's kind of a fun subject to really talk about. Um, but if the pineal gland is the seat of the soul, uh, and the pineal gland is regulated by light, then this gives birth and recognition to the idea that we are indeed, you know, beings of, of light and children of God, right? So that, that to me is, is very, very appealing on linking in the spiritual and physical aspect of humankind. But in a practical sense, when we're looking at how to defy aging, how to stop the aging process, how to reverse aging. If the pineal gland is controlling the rest of the body, then maybe there's a way to defeat aging through the pineal gland. And this was a question that was uh, asked by a scientist in Russia by the name of Vladimir Kavinsin. And a really interesting guy, I hope I get the opportunity to uh, meet him someday, although given that he's in Russia, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't count on those prospects, uh, but incredible, incredible guy based on his research. And essentially what he has spent his career doing is looking at how we can take uh, peptides that originate in the pineal gland and also in the thyroid and the thymus and use those to uh, resolve some of the issues with aging. So in the case of Olivita and the pineal gland, one of the most powerful peptides he found was epithalamine. And he created a uh, product called Epitalon. So if people are interested in that. And what it's been found is that uh, Epitalon will lengthen the telomeres and will reduce oxidative and inflammatory stress. So, uh, I set out to create a patch that would elevate epithalamine and reduce oxidative and inflammatory stress. And that's where we got Olivita. And we're going to see the results of that in, in just a minute. So what's interesting here is that in the genesis of Olivita, we had the patch, but how to market it, right? It's not really very sexy to say, hey, we've got a product to reduce oxidative stress, right? That's not necessarily, you know, a marketing benefit. 
And uh, so I discussed that with our team at the time. And um, what started to come up with is, well, maybe this is a good opportunity to introduce a new skincare system. And the philosophy would be, let's protect the health of the skin from the inside out and the outside in. So maybe what we'll do is we'll partner with a uh, dermatologist, cosmetic scientist, and develop natural and organic uh, skincare products so that what we're putting on our skin, which goes into the body, is, is healthy, not only for the skin, but the body. We'll provide the nutrition that the skin needs to thrive. Uh, so we want to look much more past simple hydration. We want to look at how can we repair damaged collagen. And the patch is going to help to protect the skin from aging from the inside out. So that's the background of Olivita. And I'm going to uh, stop talking, and give you an opportunity to talk now. No, I it, no. This is this is fascinating stuff. We we love hearing it. You know, and as we were chatting a little bit yesterday on that history, it was really fascinating to me. Well, I would love to know, just before you jump into your PowerPoint, is can you expound a little bit on this idea of, you know, working from the inside out and the outside? And you talked a little bit about it, but I'd love to know a little bit more because that really is one of the things that makes this such a unique product line compared to what you would go out and find, you know, say in the market or, you know, in, in the mass, mass grocery stores. Yeah, so if we're looking at, um, what the overall plan should be in life for most people concerning our health. We would like to, I think most people uh, would like to be in a position where they could increase their health span. So let's say maybe a hundred years for some people, this is all a mindset issue. It's not my mindset. Uh, my mindset is very different when it comes to aging and, and goals. Um, but let's say people are thinking, well, I'd like to live to be 100 and I'd like to be strong and healthy and not be sick and not have uh, to depend on other people, right? That would be a reasonable goal and something that's achievable. So when we say that's the plan, how do we achieve it? Well, we have to exercise. We have to exercise and do resistance training to maintain the strengths of the bone and um, make sure that our muscles are not going to atrophy. That's got to be a base. We've got to take in enough protein and healthy fats and B vitamins and so forth each day to fuel uh, our bodies so we can support those systems. Uh, we've got to be drinking enough water. Don't smoke, right? Preferably. And the patches are going to fit in uh, and support all of those systems, uh, especially with products like X39, which help keep our cells young and healthy. So if we look at it from, from that perspective, then we can say um, in research today surrounding aging, there's a few mechanisms that are very well defined that contribute to the aging process. Some of it is a little bit chicken and egg, which comes first. But uh, one thing that's known for sure is that as we age, the body starts to accumulate oxidative chemicals, which damage healthy tissue, and it, it, in, it we accumulate, uh, first it starts out as an acute state, then a chronic state, inflammatory markers. and both of these types, classes of molecules damage healthy tissue. Mm. And there's even a term today that we associate with inflammation as associated with aging. Um, so that all said, Olivita, products like Olivita and Eon are important because if we can regulate the inflammatory process and not damage healthy tissue, we can stay healthy and we can defeat at least a portion of aging. So in um, there's a, a type of mollusk that lives to be over 500 years old and the cell membranes don't have any trace of inflammation. And, um, and so that's one of the reasons why they don't show any evidence of aging and they're young and healthy even at 500. So it 
can't be <laughs> stressed enough how important it is to properly manage oxidative and inflammatory stress. And then from what I'm hearing from you, managing that, you know, with, with the patch and, and combining that then with this external skincare that you put on is what kind of makes that even more effective than it might've been, you know, without the combination of wearing the patch as well. Right. So yes, that's right. So uh, there's a company that's selling a product. I'm not going to mention the company and I'm not knocking them, but they have a product and they'll say, well, if you take this, then, you know, 10 or 20 years from now, you'll see the benefits. And on a technical basis, I'm not sure the product works anyway. Uh, I'm not convinced about it, but quite frankly, you know, consumers want benefits today. Uh, they they want to see, okay, I'm going to take a product and if it sounds good, that's great, but how is it going to show up as a benefit in my life? And one of the things about LifeWave that we see in our clinical studies is that there are very fast short-term benefits. So with X39, people can see an improvement in sleep the very first day. People can start to see an improvement in support of the natural wound healing process in a week, 10 days, three weeks. These things happen very quickly. And we also know that a year out, two years out of using X39 and other patches, uh, they're getting additional benefits. So with Alavita, it's very much the same way, is that if we're managing oxidative and inflammatory stress, our clinical studies on the Alavita system show, hey, after two, three months, uh, well, even after uh, 30 days, there's a very significant uh, improvement in the quality of the skin, but the underlying mechanism of how it does that um, is, is going to give people benefits for many, many years to come. So you get the short-term benefits and then you get long-term protection of health. I love that. It's, I mean, it's such a powerful story. Again, just nothing else like that on the market today and really a strong differentiator. So I guess as, as we start into this, this conversation, great, great kickoff to this. Now, yesterday when we were talking, you walked me through a full presentation and one of the real benefits <laughs> of seeing it from start to finish is that it gives a really good holistic view kind of, of, you know, where the, the whole process of Alvi, the, the different, the different components from, you know, the, the day to the night to the patch, is that something that you would feel comfortable kind of walking us through and, and sharing with us on this call? I will do that and I will not do it as quickly as I did with you yesterday. Uh, <laughs> well, good, I, good, that we wouldn't be fair this. to our members. <laughs> amazing, amazing information. So I'm, I'm thrilled to kind of sit back on mute and, and uh, let you take, take it away from here. for All a right. Moment. That sounds great. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. So this is actually uh, from a presentation that I did going back to 2017. So the information is just as relative uh, today as it was back then. And, you know, some important things about Olivita, as I already mentioned, um, is that we started with the patch and then we built the skincare systems, uh, as skincare products rather, around it. And some of the things that were uh, really important, we wanted to work with someone credible. Uh, we worked with a uh, cosmetic scientist who's multiple patent holder in developing uh, Olivita. We needed to have this uh, be a natural product. And the idea here is that when you put something on the skin and the skin stays wet, it's a transdermal mechanism. At least some of the skincare products going to get into the body. So with most skincare products, there are synthetic ingredients we definitely don't want in our body. Um, so we wanted to use uh, naturally uh, occurring materials. Uh, this also had to be uh, science-based, had to have clinical research behind it. So we went to one of the top uh, clinical labs in the United States that does a testing of cosmetic products for all the big skincare companies. And we had them do our, our clinical study. And we wanted people to see and experience results very, very quickly, uh, which they do. So, yeah, again, uh, if we think that 
if we keep in mind that what we're putting on our skin gets into our body, then we're going to scrutinize skincare products through that lens and not want to put, uh, not want to put most skincare products on us. Um, we also wanted this to be therapeutic in the sense that we're really interested in protecting the health of the skin and we're interested in repairing uh, elastin and collagen. We're interested in promoting the natural production of hyaluronic acid to keep the skin moist uh, and hydrated. And we have mechanisms to make that possible. Um, we also wanted to, from the beginning, uh, to provide a complete system. So we have a daytime formula, a nighttime formula, and the patch, which is used at night. Uh, so that's the system. Uh, Jeff, I think it's fair to say, you know, we've talked about some other Alavita products uh, that we might want to add to the line in the future. So, you know, wouldn't, yeah. rule, out, wouldn't, wouldn't rule out that happening in the future. So with Olivita, um, we decided that this has to be natural and we wanted to leave out synthetics that are known to cause problems. Uh, so that's an important part of this is it's not only about what we included, but what we didn't include. And in most countries, you're very limited about the claims that you can make. So for example, here in the United States uh, and also in European Union, a cosmetic is exactly that. You have cosmetic benefits. So you can say things like your product reduces the appearance of lines and wrinkles. Your product improves hydration of the skin. Um, you can't make structural claims uh, because then it's considered a medical claim and it's then you no longer have a, a cosmetic product. So that's why you see the claims structured the way they are. That doesn't mean that there's not more going on that's beneficial for the skin. So let's take a look at the uh, daytime product. And the daytime product is not only moisturizing, but it's also anti-aging and it's a very nice complement to the Olivita patch. Uh, one of the uh, core philosophies on this is that we wanted to base the product off of algae oil. And reason is that algae oil is rich in DHA, which is an essential fatty acid. Um, I was looking at actually uh, an article that was released today on uh, the human brain and how over time, natural anti-inflammatory molecules in the body uh, that decline with age lead to a decline in cognitive function. Um, this is something that's really been known by natural healthcare practitioners for many decades, but something else that happens is that as our body gets a decrease in DHA, the brain will shrink. So we wanna have foods like salmon, in our diet, we wanna have uh, olives, which have monounsaturated fats, but we wanna have a source of DH, DHA in our diet because it can help to protect the integrity of the brain. Now, vitamin C is really interesting in the sense that, um, and this is a lipid form, meaning a fat containing form, and lipid vitamin C is, gonna, is going to uh, get into the body very, very easily, and it triggers repair of damaged collagen structures in the body. So use of the skin for supporting reduction in fine lines and wrinkles is pretty obvious. Uh, but you know what else could you do with vitamin C? Let's say uh, we have some members, maybe they have lost cartilage in their knees and their uh, shoulders. You can take high doses of vitamin C by IV, oral supplementation. Uh, it will trigger an increase in glutathione, and it also triggers a repair of uh, damaged collagen and cartilage. So uh, we've actually had experiences where using our glutathione and Eon patch 
with uh, supplementing with collagen and vitamin C, people regrow the lost cartilage in their knees and other joints. So it's very powerful. Um, rice bran oil, moringa butter, macadamia seed oil, which is very rich in monounsaturated fats, jojoba oil. Uh, the cosmetic scientist uh, that we were working with on this recommended this blend because it closely mimics the oils found in human skin, meaning we've got these oils and they're going to hydrate the skin, and but they won't feel greasy. And they'll also be absorbed uh, very quickly into the body. So that means your skin can stay hydrated. Uh, you can have, uh, in some cases, a immediate reduction in the appearance of lines and wrinkles, uh, and it, your, your skin won't be greasy. Um, and then the rosemary extract, rosemary is a natural antioxidant. And we included the rosemary extract to protect the oils from oxidation. Um, we also, of course, have an airless pump and um, the airless pump also protects the integrity of the ingredients in the product. So, you know, the bottom line on this is that because of the antioxidant activity, uh, and the oils, we can improve the hydration of the skin. We can protect your body or your skin from environmental toxins. We have a natural barrier, um, long-term daily application of vitamin C, uh, helps to repair damaged collagen and, uh, improve complexion. So it's, and it's very thin as you would expect for a daytime formula. So uh, it's not going to be greasy. So then we get to the nighttime formula, which is really interesting. It's really interesting because one of the things we found with this quite by accident is that it will, uh, in most people, almost immediately get rid of a sunburn. And uh, I've got some Irish blood. I've, I've got Italian, German, and Irish blood, and my skin is apparently Irish uh, because I've, I've gotten sunburns my entire life. And, uh, I applied, I was living in California at the time, uh, went out in the sun, got a sunburn, applied the Alavita. And I thought, Oh, let me try this. Cause it's got vitamin C and vitamin C is great for a sunburn. It was like instantaneously the sunburn started to go away. So we had a uh, cruise and, uh, we decided to give all of our members a free bottle of Alavita uh, to protect them from sunburns and uh, it worked out great. So uh, I wouldn't, we don't have, it does have a sun protection factor to it, but we don't make that claim because of, for regulatory reasons. Uh, but one, one thing that distinguishes the nighttime formula from the daytime formula is that it contains milk peptides. And what's important about milk peptides is that they will cause the body to increase production of hyaluronic acid. And in studies that I've looked at, there's nothing wrong with putting hyaluronic acid on the body, but it's preferable to use nutrients that will naturally increase production of hyaluronic acid, which moisturizes the, the skin. So milk peptides will do that. And as uh, with our daytime formula, we use a base of microalgae oil and um, the two ingredients here, which are having a significant impact on quality of, of the skin are the milk peptides and the uh, fat soluble vitamin C. We also have a base of oils, which act to hydrate the skin and provide a delivery system for the milk peptides and the vitamin C. And what we found in our studies is that a combination of daytime and nighttime formula, uh, specifically the nighttime formula, because it's a little thicker, uh, will reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles and support regeneration of the skin. So if we're applying these topically and we're reducing 
oxidative and inflammatory stress with the uh, patch, we can really get great results with this uh, system. Uh, this is something else which is important to think about relative to aging, and it's that unfortunately by around age 25, the fibroblasts start to decline in their production of collagen. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the body. And uh, it forms what's called the cytoskeleton. So it's the skeleton of the cell. And as collagen production decreases, the cells begin to shrink and it becomes more and more difficult to keep the cells hydrated. So a very important concept in age reversal is to restore the collagen production in the body or supplement with collagen or get those fibroblasts active. And uh, so one way you can do that is with uh, milk peptides. Um, and then of course, as we already mentioned, uh, not only do the milk peptides increase collagen production, but they also increase hyaluronic acid. So this means that milk peptides will help to support the structure of the skin and the hydration of the skin. So this is a very good complement. Uh, it's a natural formula, really good complement to the daytime formula. And um, it provides excellent nutrition for the skin. And what we found in our clinical studies is that uh, over a period of 30, 60 days of using Olivita, uh, there are statistically significant improvements in hydration, firmness, uh, texture of the skin. So I think we've covered quite a bit of this. Um, let's go to the patch. We've talked about it in, in detail now. So I want to skip ahead to... Um, Sorry, I'm going through this quickly because we've already talked about this. So this is uh, this test was from a biopulsar. And I have two pieces of equipment in my lab uh, here in Florida that I really like for testing patches, uh, amongst other equipment. Uh, one is a biopulsar and the other is a Menla scan. And I like them both for different reasons, but they both do bioelectrical tests. Uh, Biopulsar is real time, meaning you get activity of you know, 50 different regions of the body, uh, real time, and within one to two minutes, you can do these before after scans. So you connect someone to the equipment, you take a baseline, you apply, in this case, the Olivita patch, and then five minutes later, you see that there's been a dramatic change in the bioelectrical readings of the body. Now, uh, just for clarity, this equipment provides data uh, that would look like something like an EEG, but for 50 different regions of the body. So you can look at the bioelectrical activity in the liver, the kidneys, the frontal lobes, and so forth. And uh, then you can take the data and translate it into an image uh, so you can get a very quick read what's going on. And so this was a 62-year-old man. Uh, the readings on the left, the baseline are not surprising. And we can see that there is a massive increase in bioelectrical activity in the body after five minutes. This turquoise color represents a perfect reading. Now, this was a woman uh, 43 years old that had actually a significant number of health challenges. Again, the turquoise color would be considered a perfect reading. And within five minutes, very, very dramatic change. Uh, so this, what this means is that her health problems didn't go away. What it means is that the bioelectrical signaling in the body started to stabilize. And that's important because we know that the bioelectrical system in the body controls the biochemistry. So if we can stabilize 
the bioelectrical system, it's much easier to have uh, good health. So we had shown, uh, we did some studies on this and we showed dramatic reduction in oxidative stress. Uh, we did this not only through the bioelectrical test, but through the uh, blood testing as well. And one really interesting thing is we did, a, uh, you can see this in the research section of the website, we did electro-interstitial scanning and found that the patch activated the frontal lobes. What's interesting about this is uh, that people experience like an expansion of consciousness. That's the way it's described to us when uh, they apply the Olavida patch. Some people have intense dreams, other people uh, just have an expanded awareness, better uh, processing of information. And we did see that this lights up the frontal lobes. So the Olavida patch, of course, it has benefits for the skin, but it reaches very, very far beyond that. And yeah, uh, we got statistical significance that all markers of oxidative stress decreased in the body by over 17%. That's massive. Uh, we need oxidative chemicals in the body. They, they destroy viruses, bacteria, cancer cells. So we don't want to eliminate oxidative stress. It's important, but we want to control it and manage it so it doesn't lead to problems later in life. And when we do this, uh, when we reduce our oxidative stress, we get a natural increase in the body's antioxidant system. So I think at this point, uh, yeah, I think that covers a lot. I know people have questions, so uh, that's a lot of information and, and covers the basis. Oh, it absolutely is. But wow, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through that. It's really nice to see it in kind of that linear format of each of the products individually. I was I was sitting here and I mean, I work on these products, you know, in, in, in marketing them, but um, I, I was just taking notes. And so some things that I uh, that I picked up on that I think are really important being around skin care for a lot of my career. Number one is you, you hit on it right up front, but it has to be effective. You know, what I mean, this is an experiential product. This is something that people are going to expect a result from. And the fact that there's clinical studies and testing around the fact that it absolutely does that is super important. I love the concept of working from the inside out and the outside in, the connection between, you know, the patch and then the, the, the two topical products there. Um, you know, the ingredients you hit on are so, so important, uh, you know, in today's consumers' minds, clean ingredients, you know, things, especially with when you talk about being transdermal on the lotions and things, that is, that's such an important point. And then really kind of the 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 last uh, the last thought that I had on this, David, that I was really, um, you know, that really has been clicking recently is one of the things that's so amazing about LifeWave in general is the approach often is to help the body do what it was meant to do naturally, only better. So when you talk about the ingredients that are meant to trigger, you know, production of hyaluronic acid or production, you know, of collagen, as opposed to just using those ingredients themselves, I think that's a really powerful, you know, a really powerful point in that as well. So thank you for walking us, walking us through that and for, for giving us a little bit more detail on that. It just yeah, ab absolutely. And, uh, you know, Jeff, one other thing um, I was just thinking about is, uh, there are some skincare products that are on the market, which claim to produce instantaneous reduction in lines and wrinkles. Mm -hmm. And I actually looked at this uh, with a, a friend of mine that's a medical doctor. We looked at this uh, back in 2006, and there was a uh, cosmetic scientist in France that had developed this. And uh, it was very, very interesting because you would apply these microspheres to the body that, that had the uh, active compounds in them. And you could see within minutes, there was a reduction in lines and wrinkles. And we got pretty excited about this. Uh, but then we looked at the clinical studies and what it showed was that these compounds would unnaturally stress the skin and it would stretch the skin and break down 
the collagen and elastin matrix in the skin. So after about four to six weeks of use, the skin was actually weaker than when you started. So this is something that most consumers, of course, they don't know, uh, but there are some skincare products that are on the market that promise some very exciting benefits, but they're not at all healthy for the skin. So what I would say is, uh, is be very careful about other products and uh, evaluate them and you know, see what kind of information you can find because there's some skincare products that are definitely not healthy for the skin. So it's important that a skincare product be natural uh, when you factor in that some of the compounds are going into the body. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, so we, uh, we a couple of things. So we have uh, the questions are just flying in from the community here. So I, I see that. I want, to, I want to get to a few of these questions. Um, also, just as a, a preface here, when we talked about potential expansions, the guesses were going wild in the comments. Now, I won't say anything, um, but some of you might have been on the right track. Some of you might not have been on the right track. Uh, we can't give more than that. But wow, uh, a lot of excitement around that piece. So. Cool. So first, first question that we've got, um, number one is, is this product only for the face or can it be used on the body as well? And what would your recommendation be there? Yeah, so I would say the intended use is to, uh, let's see, the intended use of course is to be applied on the face. Uh, we also have our clinical studies, which is based around the product being applied on the face. But that said, there's no reason why it couldn't be applied to other areas of the body. And we've had people uh, do some interesting things with it. I uh, wouldn't make any necessarily any claims about it. But for example, um, men or women that get hemorrhoids, uh, I had a gentleman that was using the nighttime cream for hemorrhoids and it helped to shrink his hemorrhoids. Uh, that'd be a medical claim. We don't make the claim. That's completely anecdotal. Um, but I thought, you know, that was relatively interesting. Um, of course, if people want to apply it as a hand cream, they could, it might be a little expensive that way, but uh, they could if they have some type of skin irritation uh, it's probably okay to apply either the daytime or or the nighttime that way. So, yeah, and there's actually nothing in the products where you couldn't ingest it. Um, I wouldn't advise it uh, because it would be unpleasant for the stomach. But this is just to say the products are so natural and safe that if you consume them by accident, you know, you'd be fine. Well then. Okay, so another uh, question that I'm I'm seeing here is is in addition to uh, you know, the passion, in addition to using these two skincare products, are there any other uh, lifestyle? I mean, we talk a lot. You talk a lot about holistic, li you know, living about all the different pieces of the puzzle. But what else would you recommend in terms of just healthy lifestyle living that would really help with with skincare and with skin health? Many things. So first when we're looking at the health of the skin, we can think of this as how do we best support the health of the human body? Uh, one of the things I discussed at August convention was uh, if we want to look at defeating aging, what are some of the ways that we could do that? And uh, one research uh, study that I cited was uh, work that was done at uh, UC Berkeley by Bruce Ames, and that showed that the combination of acetyl L-carnitine and alpha lipoic acid could help to restore mitochondrial function and get those cells to act like younger, healthy cells. Well, it's also known that lipoic acid uh, is excellent for the health of the skin and um, is used in many skincare products. So this would be a great example where you could take a supplement of acetyl L-carnitine and alpha lipoic acid, it's gonna support the health of the skin, but also you get benefits for cognitive function, you get benefits for your mitochondria, 
alpha lipoic acid helps to manage blood sugar. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, anyone that's on the call that is a diabetic or is a pre-diabetic, you should be taking 300 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid three, four times a day, and you'll get your blood sugar under control very rapidly. I met with the scientist who did that work and, uh, and it's outstanding. Uh, another really good example is carnosine. Um, if people don't have their diet in check, they may want to take a beta alanine supplement daily, but this is another great example. Carnosine is the most powerful anti-glycation nutrient, uh, that has been discovered as far as I'm aware. And, uh, so the benefit of carnosine for the skin is that it protects it from elevated levels of blood sugar. So, uh, and it protects cross-linking in the skin. But elevating your carnosine protects your telomeres from shortening, extends your lifespan, protects and restores cognitive function, protects the health of the heart, helps to protect uh, your, uh, your skeletal muscles so you can restore strength and stamina. So there's all kinds of benefits for elevating carnosine. So those are just a few things, you know, that you that you can do, uh, and the, and there's certainly many many others. Uh, but the the point is that you're not looking at just the health of the skin. You're looking at, you know, what's going to be great for the entire body, so you get multiple benefits. Yeah, it's all it's all connected, right? All and, connected, yes. And even even something as simple as as drinking enough water, uh, those those that can can affect that as well. So, oh, yeah. all all connected. Um, okay, so another question coming in comes around, uh, you know, specific to the Olivita patch. So, can you wear more than one? Would you ever recommend that? And then also, what kind of a placement would you recommend? Well, in our clinical studies. Uh, we got the benefits with just one patch. And so with some patches, you can use more than one, but um, you may reach a point of diminishing returns. Ice wave is really, an, and glutathione are exceptions to where there's a legitimate reason for using more than one when you're in a pain management protocol. Uh, but other than that, for most people, one patch of any of the patches is usually enough when we're in maintenance mode. So unless there's a specific outcome that someone's looking for, I don't necessarily think more than one Olivita patch is necessary. Now, uh, the patch, because it's designed to signal the pineal gland for elevating epithalamine, I'd recommend uh, either the uh, right temple or the, uh, what's called the third eye point on the forehead. Uh, you could also place it on the side of the neck if you had a point of tension, you know, you had some muscle strain, you could apply it on the side of the right side of the neck. Um, all those points would be okay. Um, one thing to note though, is many people, because the patch produces such a strong bioelectrical effect, placing the patch on the right temple or the third eye can produce some pretty intense dreams. Many people love that. Uh, there's some other phenomena people have observed. Uh, and uh, so if you're okay with that, then I'd say keep doing it. Um, and that's where you know we place the patch in the studies. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, so this one, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, clearly from somebody who probably has been watching our Life with Connects all along and kind of starts to see the connections, but they talk specifically about how is the Alveda patch different from maybe Eon or glutathione in terms of, you know, a healthy inflammatory response or oxidative stress. Uh, do you see a connection in those or, or maybe what, what's the different mechanisms on those? those in yeah, they're, well, they're designed to elevate different peptides. So in the case of Alveda, it's elevating epithalamine. In the case of Eon, elevates a different peptide. So Eon is elevating a peptide in the liver, and this peptide uh, activates what's called the primitive immune system. And as such, we see increases in glutathione and SOD, uh, but we also see a 
very significant reduction in a broad range of inflammatory uh, markers. So for example, with Eon, we would see a reduction in uh, lipid peroxide, homocysteine, uh, elevated, uh, elevated levels of homocysteine are associated with heart disease. So we see reduced homocysteine with using Eon. Uh, we see reduction in C-reactive proteins or C CRPs. We see a uh, reduction in uh, lipid peroxides. So Eon is a broad spectrum anti-inflammatory. It does that better than Olavida. On the other hand, Olavida is better at reducing oxidative stress. So they're both important. So um, Eon and Olavida work very, very well together at, at managing the inflammatory process. I love that. Yeah. Okay. We have time for maybe one or two more questions. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, jump back into here to the questions. Um, when you look at like just a, a recommended and this, this may be a, a very simple, but a recommended regimen in terms of, you know, when to use the products and is there a specific order around, you know, washing your face or those types of things, any recommendations you have there? Yes. So uh, we covered this at the convention in August, but um, generally what I would say, and um, uh, this would also be maybe more cautionary for women, is apply the patches to clean, dry skin. Don't put your moisturizer on and then try to put the patch on top of skin that has moisturizer. Uh, it's not going to you know, stick very well. Uh, so you know, just to give that a little bit of thought. But generally speaking, you know, for patches that you would wear during the day, like X39, X49, Energy Enhancer, uh, get up in the morning, do some exercise, take a shower, then apply your patches. And then uh, in early evening, you know, maybe, well, eight, nine o'clock, let's say, you could remove those patches. And then at bedtime, let's say, before bedtime, 10 o'clock at night, you could apply your evening patches. And again, you know, they're applied to clean, uh, dry skin. So they're going to adhere and uh, they're going to work properly. I love it. It's not complicated, right? It's, uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll work as long as it's near the skin. Yeah, it's not. But one of the, the, the fascinating things I found, at least in, in, in my time in health and wellness is that Sometimes it's just the simplicity of that habit building, right? That regimen building that becomes so difficult. And if if you're willing to commit to it and if you're willing to do it and be consistent in it, that's, I think, when you start to see, you know, a lot of those results and a lot of the effects of the product. But it's uh, it's challenging to form a new habit. Uh, well, you know, I think it, re it requires a plan. Mm -hmm. um, and so... You know, when we're looking at making changes in lifestyle and we're looking at outcomes, you know, a good way to think about it is that if you're just getting a very, very small result each day, then after a period of a few weeks, months, a year, those, you know, results are really, really going to add up. You know, when you look at uh, some Hollywood celebrities that prepare for a movie, you know, regardless of whether or not they use steroids, that's a separate thing. The fact of the matter is each day is a process of eating healthy, getting, you know, the right nutrition, exercise, proper sleep, and then over a period of, you know, weeks and months, the body transforms. So I would look at this process that way is first you have a plan and then you're, you're not trying to get results in one week. You're trying to get results over a period, very, very long period of time, right? That's how we get healthy aging and age reversal. So um, at events like the August convention, I help lay out a plan to help people say, this is how you can organize your day. And these are the things to think about. And that way, over a period of weeks, it becomes a habit. And then you just do it naturally. But start with a plan. Start with, and start write it down. Yeah. <laughs> That's the key. And there's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of value in research around even habit stacking, you know, combining things and and, uh, you know, stacking onto things that you're already good at. Yeah, well, this is this has been fantastic. I think I'm, I'm looking up the clock here. and I'm realizing we're we're down to our last few minutes here. So um, let me just ask you, 
one last question that came from the community here. So there's there's a, a question around, you know, are are the the creams? Can you use those standalone, and will you see effects, or is it only when you use it in combination with the patch that you're going to see effects um, on on the pro from the products? You'll definitely see effects from just the day and nighttime formulas for sure. You'll definitely uh, see the effects. Uh, so it's really a question for people of you know what is it that an individual wants. Uh, you know, maybe they start out and they try the Alavita system. I'd recommend that. And if they say, well, you know, I really like the Eon patch. I want to use that at night. And so I'm just going to buy uh, the day and nighttime formulas. And, you know, that can be totally fine. So I would say, you know, try the system, uh, see how you like it. Uh, and uh, because it definitely works. But then over time, you know, you an individual can adjust their schedule and their patch use the way that they want. I love that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for spending uh, so much time with us today to talk through these products. Really, they are are incredible. And one of the things I noticed is as as you were talking here is even in the comments, just testimonials kept kept rolling in. You know, I've used this. This works. This is amazing. And it really is uh, inc an incredible, incredible system of products when used together, which I think is fantastic as well. There's some great information. We have a site called myalavita.com. You can go there to get some information. Of course, on a regular website, you can go to any of the product pages and there's information there. And then even in the science and research section of the site, you had talked a little bit about that, David, is that is some of that research, you know, can, can be found there. So uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today. Thank you for taking your time. Again, David, special thank you to you. Any last words before we close out here? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, there was some really disturbing uh, stories in the news yesterday. And, uh, you know, it's a reminder that there is uh, a lot of darkness in the world. And sometimes, you know, this can be a little bit depressing. Uh, and I think it's a good time to sit back and remember that God and nature always provide solutions. There's always solutions to problems in life. And, uh, you know, we each face our own challenges in life, whatever that might be with our health or our work or, or what have you. And uh, I would just encourage people to uh, pray, turn to God, look for natural solutions, and, uh, you know, they'll find what they're looking for. But there's always hope, no matter what situation a person finds them in. It's an opportunity to uh, change and grow and, and be a better person. It may not be a fun process, uh, but there's a saying in the Bible that uh, it's in fire that gold is purified. Mm -hmm. And I, I really believe that uh, you go through in the challenges that I've been through in my life. Uh, I look back on those things fondly uh, that they they weren't fun to go through, but it was a, a learning process. And I feel that it made me a better person. So I'm, I'm very thankful to God that I, I went through those things. So uh, I'm very appreciative that. Um, I have the opportunity to uh, be with you today and speak with our members and, uh, you know, have a platform where we can touch people's lives and uh, and offer them hope. Oh, I love that. Well, thank you so much. On that note, we'll go ahead and close out the call. David, thank you so much. We appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Jeff. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody.